The elimination method is another one of the two possible methods for solving simultaneous equations, or the two main methods. So I'm going to demonstrate it with two simultaneous equations here. Uh, 4a plus 8b equals 12. Uh, label that as equation number 1. And also 6a minus 4b equals negative 14. And I'm going to label that as equation number 2. Now the aim of the elimination method is to get matching coefficients in both equations. So for instance, I'm trying to get the same number in front of both a's, or maybe the same number in front of both b's. Uh, the numbers can be different signs, uh, but what I'm trying to do is make sure they're the same value. Uh, so for instance, in this one, uh, what I'd really like is for the negative 4b to be actually a negative 8b, because then I'd have 8b in the top equation and negative 8b in the bottom equation. Um, and if I added the two equations together, the positive 8b and the negative 8b would cancel out against each other and I'd be left with nothing, so they'd be eliminated, hence the name of this technique. So what I'm going to try and do is change the second equation so that it has a negative 8b in it. Uh, so first I'm going to write down that I'm trying to eliminate b, the variable b. So how do I get negative 8b from negative 4b? Well, it's fairly easy. What I need to do is multiply equation 2 by 2. So instead of 6a, I'll have 12a. Instead of negative 4b, I'll have negative 8b. And don't forget to multiply both sides. So instead of negative 14, I'll have negative 28. So now I have a negative 8b in this equation, which I'm going to call equation 3. So I have an 8b in equation 1, and I have a negative 8b in equation 3. So if I add these two equations together, what I'm going to be able to do is eliminate b. So I'm going to write down that I'm going to add equation 1 and 3 together, and I get 4a plus 12a, so that's the a's added up, and I get 8b from the first equation, and a minus 8b from equation 3, and then adding up the other side of the equation, I get 12 minus 28. So now I can simplify this. So 4a plus 12a is going to equal 16a, which I write there. Now, positive 8b and negative 8b are going to cancel out, so I'm just going to have no b's left. Uh, the other side, I've got 12 minus 28, which becomes negative 16. So if 16a equals negative 16, a must equal negative 1. So I've already found out one of my variables, a equals negative 1. So now I want to find out what b is equal to. Now I can do this by taking my value of a equals negative 1 and substituting it into uh, my one of my equations. In this case I'm going to substitute it into equation 1 so I'll go up and look at equation 1 4a plus 8b equals 12. So instead of a I'm going to write negative 1. So first I'll rewrite the equation 4a plus 8b equals 12. Now instead of a I write negative 1 plus 8b equals 12. So now I just have to solve this equation for b. There's only one variable in it. So it becomes negative 4 plus 8b equals 12. And then I have 8b equals, if I put the negative 4 on the other side and make it a positive, I get 8b equals 16, so b equals 2. So I found my second variable. Now it's always a good idea to summarize all your answers at the end of the question. 
So that makes it easy for your marker, so they feel good about you. So A equals negative 1, and B equals 2. And we can put a little double line to indicate that's our answer. Now in this problem, we had a positive 8B in one equation and a negative 8B in the other equation. Uh, so we added the two equations to eliminate them. Uh, sometimes you'll have a two positive coefficients which are the same. So say we had had an 8B and another positive 8B in the other equation. What we would have had to do is subtract one equation from the other instead of adding them together.